Good. You're out of jail. Want some coffee? Did you make the deal with Dorian Lord? keep from losing the in Dr. Lord. Because whatever it is, I'm in. I didn't leave Plateau Prison. Come all this way to get locked up again in some punk holding cell. Well, I'm sorry it wasn't up to your standards. I would have thought that Landview would be much better than Columbia when it comes to prisons. And I would have thought that a man like you would be able to control his own woman. That red-headed bitch treated I... you like I was trash. Not another word or you will be back in prison. Mr. Montez, I'm sorry you were locked up. My attorneys worked all night to set you free. I, I, I done everything. I done everything you asked. You, you have what you want. Dr. Lord can uh, do whatever it takes for Langston. I don't know, I don't care. I have personal business in Colombia that requires my attention. So if you just pay me my money, I'll be on my way. Oh, I can't do that because plans have changed slightly. Dorian did not go for the bait. So it looks like Langston will be going home with you. I wanted to talk to you before Langston comes down. She doesn't have to know about this. Talk to me about what? Look. Just tell me what I can do to help. That's very sweet of you, and I appreciate it, but believe me, I've got a whole team of lawyers working day and night to try and find a and, loophole. And when that doesn't work, when you're on to plan B, I want in. The cops couldn't hold him. Langston couldn't even reach out to him. She was crying her eyes out the other day, and he didn't even care. I'm sure that must have been very difficult for you to witness. It was for me. Uncle Ray, the guy's a stone-cold sadist. I'm telling you, he's enjoying this. We cannot let him take her. We're agreed on that. Maybe you think I'm a punk that isn't good enough for Langston, but I love her, and I will do anything for her. You're right. I didn't have a very high opinion of you, especially when Langston was lying to me, saying that she was pregnant. But right now, I'll just say this. If Langston had to fall in love at such a young age with a punk, I'm glad that punk was you. And if my girlfriend had to have an uptight, uptown snob for mother, I would take you, Dr. Lord. No questions asked. What is important here is that if I have anything to say about it, Langston isn't going anywhere. Okay, now I know I'm screwed if you two are bonded. You're not going anywhere. Right, Dr. Lord? Okay, I'm not taking Langston home with me. You gave me your word it would have come to that. And I don't think that it will. But Dorian is stubborn. And now that she knows that I'm behind all of this, she's dug in her heels. But at the end of the day, She's not going to let that girl get on that plane. I can guarantee it. No. You go over there and let Dorian know that the clock is ticking. You tell them to pack and to say their goodbyes because they're flying out tonight. And if she calls my bluff? She's the one who's bluffing. She's not going to let that girl go. I want this over tonight. If you can convince them that you mean business, it's going to be over tonight at the airport. Ah, oh, more questions, Miss Hanna? Why are you so sure Ray's coming after you? Because he swore he was going to kill us at his trial. It was Lola's testimony that put him away, and I was the one that supported her. And now he's out, and he's looking for us. I just know it. So why hasn't he, hasn't he uh, showed up here? I told you already, we've moved several times. He doesn't know about this place. Yeah, yet. 
Which is why we need to leave here as soon as possible and get to Landview. You know, it's such a small place. It's halfway across the globe. We've changed our names, our passports. They'll never find us there. Um, I'm gonna go get Lola. We'll leave for the airport in an hour. Look, I know it's a lot to ask of you, Christian. But it's a good thing that you're doing here. And it's, it's good for you, too, you know? You get to go back home to the woman that you love. for Carlo Hester for our father. No, I didn't. But until Christian's home and safe and until Carlo's in jail, I'm gonna feel guilty. I mean, I can't help it. Ugh, unknown caller. I hate these. Answer it. Maybe you need more life insurance. Hello? Sarah? Can you hear me? Oh my God, Chris, Chris, Christian, is that you? Sarah, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 I, I can hear you. Uh, well, where are you? Antonio, Christian's on the phone. I'm in Colombia. Where? Colombia. Where, where in Colombia are you? Do you have an address? Sarah, can you hear me? Chris. Let me talk to my brother. <sighs> He's gone. We got cut off. But, but, but it was him. He's alive. He's okay, Antonio. I thought we had an agreement. I thought you said the phones were dead. What else have you been lying to me about, Vanessa? I'm surprised seeing the two of you together. Mr. Montez was about to deliver a message, so you, uh, you call. Keep me posted. Yeah. Should I duck? You think this is funny? I don't want to get hit in the head with a decanter. You're doing business with a convicted felon. And ruining the life of an innocent girl. Yeah, I know the lyrics. Well, I'm wondering why it hasn't sunk in. Do we have to do this again? Okay, Clint, just so we're on the same page here. Where do you draw the line? Breaking the law? I haven't broken any laws. No, you just associate with known criminals. He's a businessman. So was John Wayne Gacy, but I wouldn't want him in my house. Fine! Then I'll meet with Ray downtown. Oh, my God, who are you? What are you doing? What, what, is, it, is this how you want to run your life? Because if it is, I don't even know if I want you in my house. So you guys can have tea once a week and shoot pool when I'm gone? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Marco, my uncle has custody of me. He has a piece of paper, and we'll see what he can do with it. He has the right to take me out of here. Yes, but does he want to take you? That's the question. I don't want to ask questions. I want to do something. You know, as you kids get older, you're going to learn that um, things are sometimes not quite what they appear to be. So ask yourself these questions. Why did Uncle Ray show up so suddenly? Why does he want custody of you? Because Clint Buchanan put him up to it. Precisely. He wants to use you to get revenge on me. Well, the question is now, how far is he willing to go? No. The question is, how far will you go, Dr. Lord? I have people working on this. Believe me, they're gonna do something. And we're Kramers. We fight right to the bitter end. 